So hello guys. Hi, my name is Georgia and I am here with Michelle. We are both teachers at Mayas and today we're going to be talking about weddings in particular, oh, 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 in particular Pakistani weddings and how they compare to Italian weddings. Michelle, um, why are you an expert in Pakistani weddings? <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Michelle. I was born and raised in Pakistan um, in a city called Karachi. So that makes me a bit of an expert on all things Pakistani. I am so excited. Okay, my first question is, what are the main differences between Pakistani and Italian weddings? The first immediate difference is the sheer number of events. Italian events, um, Italian weddings usually have an event or maximum two, and it goes over perhaps a weekend. But in Pakistan, the weddings are long. Um, they last about 10 days. Oh my God. And every Pakistani wedding has at least four events. Wow. Some have more, but fewer than um, four is pretty rare. Well, that 10 days, that is days. wild. Uh, what kind of events are we talking about? What are the events like? Well, um, you have the wedding ceremony, okay. right? Makes but sense. they are many pre-wedding events. So they're mostly cultural. Um, for example, there's an event called a Mehendi, which is my favorite event because it's so much fun. The bride and the groom's family and friends um, organize choreographed dances and it's a bit of a competition to see who's better. So, um, and at these events, friends and family invite their friends as well. So the guest list is kind of flexible. Oh, what are we talking about? Like how many people could there be at a wedding? Like max and minimum. Um, well, at a Pakistani wedding, 200 guests is considered a small wedding. Oh my, God. Um, my cousin got married recently and she had 700 people at her wedding. Seven, how, I don't even know 700 people. That's amazing. Well, our families are really big. So 200 would just be the extended family. And then colleagues and friends of parents and friends of friends. 700. How do you feed all these people? I mean, of course, this is for Italians that are watching this and we cannot talk about um, anything without talking about the food. So like, how is the food? How do you feed 700 people? What do you eat? That is a very good question. So at a Pakistani wedding, if the food is bad, the wedding is a flop right food is the highlight okay. and usually the way um, food is served is also different it's a buffet style Ooh. instead of a sit-down dinner and every wedding will have well i think it's a national favorite dish it's called biryani oh my god i love biryani you know what biryani is of course i don't know if i've ever had it authentically but i've tasted biryani dishes presumably and yeah delicious for those of you who don't know what biryani is it's a rice dish that's flavored with a ton of spices 11 12 15 i have no idea i'm not a very good cook and um it's made with uh, either mutton or beef or chicken and it has herbs and potatoes oh so good oh my god you're making me hungry <laughs> i'm definitely hungry thinking about biryani um, and of course, with rice, you have something um, like a gravy, a sauce-based oh. dish. Um, a really popular sauce-based dish, we call it gravy, is called a korma. Okay. Which is usually made uh, from lamb meat. Oh, my favorite meat. <laughs> and the meat is marinated overnight oh. in this complex uh, marination of onions and nuts oh my and yogurt and then it's all combined the next day into this amazing dish that's um, not eaten with rice but instead it's typically eaten with um, naan which is a flat bread kind of like a, um, a piadina okay. but a thicker version of it I want a Pakistani wedding now that sounds amazing <laughs> Um, also, I, when I imagine a Pakistani wedding, I imagine like beautiful colors and especially particular style of clothes. What, what kind of clothes do you wear in a Pakistani wedding? Yep, it's definitely very different from an Italian wedding. Of course, Italian weddings are the epitome of style and fashion, but the colors are subdued. 
Yeah. Right? Um, a Pakistani wedding is an explosion of color. Oh. The more colorful the outfits, the brighter the outfits, the better it is. Um, of course, in Pakistan, you have um, white weddings too. Okay. So even if you have a white wedding, the pre-wedding events, the cultural events, will feature lots of local um, local outfits. So saris, okay. lehengas for the women, and shalwar kameez and shirwanis for the men. And it's all about that amazing explosion of color. And when you capture that in a photograph, it's like a rainbow. Wow, that's a lot of outfit changes though. It is exhausting <laughs> and very expensive. That sounds absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. That sounds, I think I'm kind of, maybe I should find a Pakistani uh, gentleman to marry so then I can have a Pakistani wedding. Don't tell my boyfriend I said that. Um, but thank you so much, Michelle, for sharing uh, part of your culture with us and explaining Pakistani weddings to us. Thank you for having me over and allowing me the opportunity to share my culture with everyone else. Bye guys. Bye guys.